Imagine living in a world where you can eat a food and this food can help not only to maintain and regulate your blood sugar levels at that meal, but also help to regulate your blood sugar levels into the next morning when you put that next bite of food in your mouth at breakfast. Guess what? We already live in such a world. Today, I'm talking about the second meal effect. I'm talking about those fiber-rich foods with resistant starches that help us to maintain regulated blood glucose levels into our current meals and beyond. Resistant starches and foods that contain high fiber content, specifically whole grains and legumes, contain this magnificent activity. When we eat whole grains or legumes, we are able to control and regulate our blood sugar levels. This has been known for years and years and years, yet many of us have never even heard of it and don't even know that we have such powerful foods at our disposal. We can literally help in curbing and preventing diabetes. Diabetes affects millions of people worldwide. It is one of those fastest growing illnesses that can actually be prevented, specifically type 2 diabetes, which is a foodborne illness a lifestyle illness that doesn't have to affect us in the way that it has been. Studies have shown that when we eat these resistant starches, which means that they have a harder time of being digested by enzymes, it takes more to break them up. When we eat resistant starches, and those foods that contain this powerful fiber content, it slows our digestion down. It doesn't give us those quick blood glucose spikes, such as processed foods like white bread or white rice or bagels, donuts, those breakfast treats those highly processed foods that are devoid of this life-giving fibrous material, this fiber that helps to fuel our gut and our microbiome. These resistant starches slow down our digestion in the gut, therefore leading to less severe spikes of glucose in our body, which of course then leads to insulin issues, insulin resistance, large swings of insulin coming into our system that need not be at these moments of eating. These resistant starches, because they are broken down so slowly, actually don't even get digested in the small intestine. These fiber-fueled foods go down into the colon where they are then fermented and turn into another miraculous product. From our gut microbiome, they are turned into short chain fatty acids, which provide us with so many benefits. 
which I'm going to go into in another video. But for today, remember the second meal effect and the fact that our glycemic index can be easily controlled with low glycemic foods such as your whole grains and legumes, in particular beans, lentils really do outshine the others in terms of this miraculous activity. They are filling, they are slowly digested, and they help us to maintain our blood glucose levels with this phenomenon called the second meal effect. And even further, transforming our fiber and resistant starches into short chain fatty acids. Put down those processed foods and pick up those bag of beans, those fibrous fruits, a sweet potato, some whole grains that will not only fuel your body now when you eat, but will guard your gut and your sugar levels into the next morning. You can follow me for more life-changing information about a whole food plant-based diet and check out my website at www.drmoniqueadu.com.